Greetings all, Frog here, let's play some GeoGuessr. It's gonna be a three minute world challenge. I had to stop for a second, I need to adjust my headphones. The music was not as rocking as I thought it was going to be. It'll get better. It builds, it's a slow build on the United States American highway system. Somewhere in Nebraska, no, actually this looks like uh, more like Wisconsin, Northern Illinois, somewhere around there. Exit sign, could be good. Get me on that side. You're not gonna get me on that side? That's really cruel. That's unbelievable that I don't even have the other side of this. It's a divided highway. Wow. Geo guys, this is not an easy first one. I mean, it's like any town USA, basically. All right, who cares? Memphis? I think that's definitely Memphis. It's 400 miles to Memphis. All right, well, let's go to the exit, see if we can't get up on the road where the exit is. So it's 400 miles south-ish to Memphis, kind of southeastern. So, I mean, Illinois is certainly a possibility. Oh, we're on the other side now. Great, after all those signs. Thank you. Do, do we see the irony in this? Over there is a sign that says what this highway is. It's on the wrong side of the road again. So, guess who does this on purpose? The conspiracy is real. This says... Shabans? I don't even know what that means. I can't even go on the expressway. I must get off. This is unreal. And then it's perfect. That is so strange. I've got a minute to figure it out. Let me go here. Please still be perfect. It is. County Road 37. I-57 going to Champaign and Kankake. 57. On the way to Memphis. 57. Ooh. There's a 52 going Champagne south to Champagne. I have no idea where we are, but we're along here somewhere, so at least we're going to get some sort of credit out of this. What road is this? It's County Road 37, I know that. I don't think we're going to find 37. Let's actually get on the road. We're in between those two for sure. Shabans? I think that's I think that is it. I think that's where we are. Ooh, that's pretty good. Only 12 points. We're on the other side of Shabans. Nice. Definitely cool. All right, good. Good detective work, Gumshoes. Now take all you've learned and throw it in the trash because we are in South America, it looks like. But I have been wrong before. Is there a language on that? Rancho San Juan. Okay. Listening to the music, of course, of the Europa Universalis 4, the DLC today. I think that's actually all I've been listening to this week. I just have not... I, I can't take the time that I want to take, because, of course, I have a full-time job. Unfortunately, that full-time job right now is more like a 50 to 60 hour a week instead of, you know, a 40 hour week. So I have to spend quite a bit of time on it. We're driving on the right, by the way. I don't, I don't know if you noticed that. So I just don't have a lot of time to spend. Cozumel, that's in Mexico. 100 kilometers to Cozumel on Oru. I don't even know what that means. Oru, Orod. It's not good, but Cozumel is in Mexico. I know this. Um, this I think it is. Oh, Q Ru? Are we in Quanta Ru? Maybe? Is Cozumel on this side of Mexico? It doesn't. I don't see it. But that could easily be Q Ru. Cozumel 100. 
I'm intrigued by this. There's Chetumal. Don't see Kazumal. I really think it's in Mexico somewhere. I just don't remember where. I feel really embarrassed by that. I don't know what that means we should be. I don't know why I'm whispering. Is Cosmo actually in Belize? I've never been to Belize. Well, we're just going to put it in the middle of Q Ru and hope that that's what that means. That's not bad. We're up here. Cancun. Is Cancun also Cosmo? I don't think so. This is where I'm going to be embarrassed. For all time, too, by the way, because this is, it's not like I'm going to take this down. But we were in Kuru. That's cool. At least I got that part. Good camera. Let's look all the way around, because I immediately wanted to go that way. That was the proper decision. Looks very European. Long shadows on the Google car. And it's later at night. Driving on the right-hand side. All right, what do we got going on here? Looks like the A. Oh, really? You're gonna do that to me? Come on, you can't do that. Cool. Why are you being so uncooperative today? Is that sign going in the other direction as well? It is. A305. Junta de... Junta de Blurry. The A305. Okay. Alright. Well, we're on the A305. This could easily be Spain. Does it have a road like that? Maybe. Andalusia? Maybe it's in Andalusia. Alright. It's coming to southern Spain. A305. No? Well? No. Not really. Hmm. Portugal? Mm, no, again, not really. That doesn't fit. Argentina? That would be brutal. That would be real bad, actually. Like, astronomically bad. If I think we're on the A305 in Europe and we're on the A305 in Argentina. That would be real bad. Oh, please, 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 please give me some light. Show me what this is. Andujar. C.O. Albadin. Valenzuela. Valenzuela A305 Andujar. Valencia. C.O. 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 is... um. Um, 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 oh, what province is that? I don't remember. Why don't you have province names on here? I hate you so much. Valenzuela, Andahar. I just don't remember where those are. So you have to guess the middle. I hate that. South, it's in the south. Cordoba is probably the CO. I know I've gone full screen. That's why I did it. Oh, you gotta go way far in to get to the 305. So I'm not even gonna look up those uh, Spanish province road name thingies. I'm gonna be just a Viking. A Yalm's Viking, no less. It's a nod to my CK2 campaign. Way too far. I have any civic pride. National pride would be preferred, actually. Well, we just like blasted by that house. What do you think? Nordic countries, yeah? I think so. An appreciable amount of snow, we know that much. See these snow sticks? 
significant. Little passing zones marked with an M. If I do the language of the area, it will probably help. So maybe those passing zones are only M. Oh, 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 oh. Yep, 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 uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. It's blue and yellow. It's just a pinning. It's not a full flag. But it is blue and yellow. Is that right, pinning? Pinion? It's not a full flag, but it's blue and yellow. It's Swedish. Could be, it could be, uh, could be a trap. Do you see Admiral Akbar anywhere? OKQ. Okay, oh, excuse me. Ginger Ale is getting to me. I'm having a bad habit this week um, of not eating. It's real bad, actually, and my, my body is starting to kill me because of it. Probably literally, actually. I've only got a minute left, guys. Can we get me some good clues here, please? Please to some good clues. It's not a good clue. Nothing says not Sweden yet. So, there's another blue and gold. And more just pinions, though. Crazy. Okay, um, well. We're going to say up in here, then. Even farther north. Outside the very lovely town of uh, Amarnas Vachos, obviously. So, uh, America, again, wow. The... Oh, oh, total despair of this guy. No. On Monday, I had... Raising Cane's chicken for lunch. Other chicken joints are available. But they're so good. All they do, if you don't know what a Raising Cane's is, all they do is chicken fingers. That's it. Well, chicken tenders. That's all they do. So when you go in, it's a number of chicken tenders you want, whether or not you want fries and coleslaw, and if you want any toast. That's it. That's all you can get in the way of food. I go with the Caniac. No slaw, extra toast, BBS. It's uh, insider speak for butter both sides on the toast. Thank you. Then, Tuesday, that, that's it. That's all I ate on Monday. Tuesday, I had uh, two and a half bagels with cream cheese. Yesterday, Wednesday, I had a large sub sandwich from a similarly named restaurant. Two hard-boiled eggs, some pieces of cheese, a cracker, and cashews. That was all I had yesterday. Today, I had a skillet meal of scrambled eggs, sausage, and potatoes. And a cup of potato, cheesy potato soup. And two pieces of cherry bread. That's all I've had to eat for the last four days. In its entirety. The only other calories I've ingested, I had a Snapple. Other juices are available, but, but not at my place of employment. That's the only thing in the vending machine, in terms of juice. I figure it's vaguely healthy. Anybody know where we are, by the way? We've been going down this road for two minutes. Anything? I'm guessing Iowa if I don't have any more choices from this, seriously. It's probably too much technology for Iowa. Whoa! So the, the upshot is I need to eat. I'm just not doing it because I feel like I don't have time. We don't have any food at home. So there's nothing for me to cook. And even if we did cook, after working 10 to 12 hours a day, you don't really want to come home and cook. And I'm not, I can't expect my wife to come and cook all the time, right? Because my wife works a long day too. We're on US 183. That is so not helpful at all. 
We're going to have to get lucky. Do we see 183 anywhere? In nine seconds? No? Here we go. We're somewhere near Hastings. Oh my god, that's pretty close. We're in Nebraska. Yeah, look, there was nothing I was going to see in either direction. Wow, brutal. I mean, brutal. I got 21,000 points. It's probably my best GeoGuessr in a very long time. But I say brutal. Um, apparently, starvation works. I shouldn't say that. I mean, there's real starving people. Um, we went to a luncheon on Monday, actually, as, as part of work. This is the nice thing about the job I have, because I'm in management now, so I get to go to things like that. And the speaker was the inspiration behind the uh, Lifetime movie uh, Homeless to Harvard. Very good speaker. I mean, very, very cool. And just the, the talk of, of her life and everything, and, and you know, go check it out. So, I mean, that's like true hunger. I'm just like white man, middle-aged hunger. But it's still, you know, I need to eat more than once a day with a meal that's about like 1,400 calories. I should have lost like 80 pounds this past week, and I haven't. I wonder if I have lost weight. I don't know. It's none of your concern. Why do you ask me that question? That's all the time we have for today. I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, click the like button. Consider subscribing to the channel to stay updated to everything as it happens. And until next time, cheers.